everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollows. Today I want you to share um, some new things that go on in an existing tool. And I always love being able to get existing things out and play with them because we spend a lot of money on our tools and maximizing them is super important. So today we're gonna do some fun candle making experiments. And they definitely are experiments because we wanted to try out a few different things. So I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers wick, which I did show in a video last year after it came out. And it is so simple to use. And now they have these really cool Mold. So this is the one I'm using today, which is this pyramid. There's also this one that has like faceted edges to it. And there's a globe one. So lots of fun things that we can do. And so the first thing we want to do is melt our wax. So we're gonna open up this lid, just like so. And we're gonna turn it to on. It's just a little knob on the side here. And then we're gonna fill it up to the max with wax. And then this particular one, if you read the instructions for, um, this particular mold. It actually says, wait for this to melt, which is gonna be about 20 minutes or so. Um, and then you want to come back at another half a cup, allow another 10 to 20 minutes for it to melt. And then we can do the fun stuff. So let's melt. So we have melted, you saw me add some extra in as it said. And now's the fun part, we get to color it. So there's all sorts of different ways you can do it. You can get color blocks you put in there and melt. But I'm using the grated pieces that you can get from We Are, just because they haven't come in my kit. And first of all, I'm gonna add a little bit of white so it's not too translucent. So kind of, I don't know, a good sprinkling. I'm, I'm not one to measure. Um, and then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. So you see it's kind of picking up some of that color. And then I'm gonna add red and blue because we wanna go for a purpley color, but we're gonna see, and this is where the experiment comes in, whether we can do it and it marbles as it goes. So I guess we're gonna find that part out. But if I end up with purple, I'm happy. If I end up with red and blue, I'm happy. So let's put our um, piece underneath here. So what you do to put this in, is you just place this in, there's some little grooves in here, so you just place it in, and then you give it a twist and it locks. So it's really, really easy to do. Okay, now I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of blue. And also gonna add in some red. Now you can add things like grated bits of crayons. Maybe you have some old crayons. You can add all of those kinds of fun things in here. I'm gonna give this a light stir, just because I wanna start it like mottling together. And I don't know, maybe this is only gonna happen on the top, but I guess we're gonna find out what it does as it comes through. So there's a little bit of a tap under here. Um, so I'm gonna turn this so you can see it better, but there's a tap right here. And this is what I'm gonna to turn to start putting my candle liquid from the top heated piece into the bottom. So let's turn that and it just starts to run. So it's really, really easy to do. And it's coming up to the top. Always seems to take forever to do the last little bit. But we're gonna go all the way to the top, just like this. And I'm actually going to take this one out and I'm gonna leave this one to dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab like a little glass pot and I might as well use up that excess because we don't want to waste anything. Um, but I do have some off to the side. And then what I also bought was some different wicks for these pots. So um, you can actually get jar wicks. This is just a wick piece on here that I have tied onto a little piece there. And it's just a wick string. Whereas the one that I'm gonna use now is actually designed to go in those jars. So I'm gonna grab that, thank you, Ali. Um, so what you'll notice is this has like a little flat bottom piece. And what I'm gonna do is just take a tiny bit of glue, just like a tape runner. Um, glue dots work really well for this. And so I'm just gonna try and glue it in the bottom as best as I can. Just so it kind of stays roughly where I want it. But if it moves around, remember it is liquid, it's okay. And I do have a domed bottom, but I don't want to lose any of that wax. So I'm going to pop this in here. Um, not an approved We Are 
um, item, but we're going to try it out anyway. So I'm going to straighten out my wick and I'm going to pop that down here. And then I'm going to start running in all of that excess candle wax. So you can see here, a great way here not to waste anything. So we'll just run over here. Kind of more pinky than purpley, but say it was an experiment, so you know, experiments are good. And then we're just going to run out all of our excess wax in here. And one thing you're going to see here in the top is there's quite a lot of wax left, so I just like to tip it over the top so that it all starts to run out. And then what I will do is I will clean it while it's all still wet. I don't want it to go over the top. There we go. So I'm going to do this. There's some fun colours coming in the top. So I'm going to let it drip for a second. And then I'm going to turn that tap off. That's how easy it is. And in a minute what I will do is I will tie this onto something. I'm just going to kind of put it somewhere in the middle for now while it dries. So have a little bit of time to worry about that one. Clean up wise, just a um, piece of kitchen towel in the top while it's still melted like this. We'll clean it out perfectly for next time you want to use it. Um, but I'm gonna allow these to harden. Um, but you can see by the magic of YouTube on your screen right now how they look when they come out and me get taking it out of that mold. Super simple and they look great. And of course you can light them and use them like candles. As I mentioned, you can do all sorts of different things with them. You could add grated bits of like old crayons and use those up in there. You can add all sorts of kind of bling and there's different things you can add to your candles. Um, different colors. You could also do the tissue paper technique if you've ever seen that, adding things to the side of your candle. Customize them with your stamps and things. So lots and lots of different options. I always loved you reusing tools I've already bought because just finding new ways to use them and kind of reigniting that excitement we have for our tools. So thank you for joining me today. Links below for everything I have used, of course, and we always appreciate when you use those. And if you are a Perks member, you'll get additional discounts as well. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another tip trick tutorial or maybe something a little bit different. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button and rung the bell for notifications, and I will see you then. But in the meantime, happy crafting. Bye.